morning welcome to quarantine weekend <laughs> it is a day it is another weekend of being able to do nothing so basically what i'm gonna do today is just go ahead on and run out and get some stuff that i need to work on projects here around the house and um get all that stuff done I have a whole list of stuff that honestly needs to be done. Um, and I'm like, you know, hey, this is the best time to do it. So Home Depot is still open. Of course, Walmart is open, but I don't want to go to Walmart. So I'm going to swing by Home Depot to get um, two things. I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the other room downstairs, my formal living room, and... Um, the wall in the kitchen that I had put the swatches on. I never repainted that wall. I like painted everything else around it, but I never repainted that wall. But I'm gonna go ahead on and get that done. See, it's times like this that make you be like, okay, that wall or that room that we've been wanting to paint for a long time, let's just go ahead on and knock it out. So um that's what I'm planning on doing today. And you know, look at this. Nails, horrible bowl. Can't get your nails done. Can't go to this, you know, nail salon and all that right now. So now it's the best time to paint, you know, so you don't mess up your nails. Um, my eyebrows are terrible, my toes, everything is just, uh. But on the serious side, I really do hope that, um, where are my earrings? I really do hope that everybody is out here being safe, you know, and cautious and really, really using this time and this opportunity to do things, you know, with your family around the house, take care of projects, you know, take care of self. Sit down, write with some things you have been planning on doing for yourself. You know, it's really just a time where everybody is just still, like just sitting still. Um, so yeah, this is the weekend that I'm just gonna go ahead on and, and start doing some of that stuff. Jalen is out of school. No, Jalen's not in school. So, um, so Jalen has been here at home doing DLD every day, which is her digital learning days because they don't have, um, they can't go back to school until like probably May. And that's weird. Thinking May, we don't even know. So she, um, she never wants to go out with me and today she's like, I'm going. So she got cabin fever pretty much. Um, so we about to ride out and do all that. Uh, and it's all caps all day, every day, y'all. Cause my hair is a mess can't get my hair done my salon is closed um i think they said they're gonna be open like maybe one or two days but i'm just like whatever i can rock a ponytail i don't mind you know walking around looking like this it's perfectly fine with me so yeah i'm about to head out go to home depot get some paint to paint those um the former living room and that other wall in the kitchen I'm trying to prioritize like what are my most important projects that I want to work on. What's the ones that I can knock out the fastest. So I'm trying to do it in that order. Um, the crazy thing is that I had just decided to do a craft room organization. And I was really about to start organizing my craft room because it was about to be busy season. But you know with the events and stuff have really been put on hold and postponed. Some even canceled because... You know you can't have large gatherings and stuff right now so that's kind of affecting some things and with the craft room i need to get downtown to the heart of atlanta to ikea and atlanta is currently on a stay at home order so there's no rumbling around and stuff that you're supposed to be doing down there so it's like okay well what's the point on starting on the craft room if i can't even get to ikea to get my shelving and you know the closet storage units and stuff that i wanted to put in there so um just putting that project on hold and i'm like you know what else can i you know what else can i do so it's just a little bit of that definitely cleaning cleaning some things um organizing so a lot of that going on right now so today for starters oh y'all know i have my coffee i got this little cup um from the dollar tree i always find these little cute coffee cups at the dollar tree but I like the size of it. This is like the little bitty one. It's like the size of a small coffee. Um, and so it's easier to like transport. But y'all know I love me some coffee cups. But um, yeah, so that is what's on my agenda. I don't even know what was the last thing I said before the coffee thing. But mm, this bathroom. So I want to redo this bathroom, right? Um, 
and I'm like, that's one thing that I can do now because to me, bathroom projects are like the easiest projects. They don't take a whole lot of money. They're like the easiest ones to really um, do really quickly if you're not gutting anything. Like I'm not gutting anything. So if you're gutting stuff, then it takes a lot of time. But like if you're just doing cosmetic stuff. So I'm going to change this because I did paint this wall a long time ago and everything. But if you, as you can see, um, the rest of it is still like yellow. If you can see. Yeah, you see how that's like yellow back there? But the good thing is the casing of my shower is black. And my cabinets are dark. So I already know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to go with the same theme that I have in my office that I created in my closet. Which is kind of like a black and white theme. So I'm glad that my casing and stuff is already black. So it's going to really go together good. <laughs> So I'm gonna work on that. So I was like, okay, this if I can't do the craft room, I can redo my bed, my bed, my bathroom. And I know some of you have even asked me about um the kitchen. And the kitchen is just on hold, honestly, guys. Again, I thought I was gonna be able to tackle it, you know, this event season. I'm like, okay, well, it's event season, you know, things are gonna be like heck of, you know, busy, and it's gonna be a good time for me to, you know, work on stuff like that. But um, you really can't have a lot of people coming in at your house right now. So I, I can't really have contractors in and out of here like that, you know, working on the backsplash and putting in the flooring and stuff. So it's on hold, you know, it, it, it's quarantine time, you know, not, you shouldn't have a lot of people trucking in at your house. The one thing I did have to do was replace the faucet. The faucet was leaking and of all times, so I did contact a licensed plumber and I had to get him in here, but you know, he was really clean. He put on, you know, those little shoes and stuff and gloves and everything. He had on some little gloves um, to get my faucet and stuff running because I didn't want to incur like this huge water bill. Amari! What broke? Did it cut you? No. Oh my, it's crazy. What plate did you use? The same one I used yesterday. The, the clear one. Oh uh, yeah, it could have cut you in your face. Alright y'all, we got a catastrophe. I will be right back. So, this is what we heard pop. Glass all up in the microwave from the bacon. How do you feel about this? Mm, my bread. <laughs> and can we not? We can't even cook toast properly. Like, what the heck, Jay? <laughs> All right, guys. So let me clean this out so that she doesn't cut herself and cook some more bacon. I'm glad they do that when I made it yesterday. <laughs> uh, I'm glad too. That was very dangerous. Office, get some boxes out of here slowly but surely and put me through that going to get the paint when I say the parking lot at Home Depot has never been this packed before it is ridiculously packed people have on masks and gloves and everything I just need paint I'm not even gonna be lingering around up in here I just need to get to the paint department. It's buff tan. I'm gonna be working on a feature wall for the craft room. So I'm gonna need some trim to be cut. So right now I'm just gathering ideas on what kind of trim I wanna use for the wall. I think these are the pieces like the one I used in my closet so this isn't the right one because they have designs in them. I need like solid pieces like this. I'm going to be using 1x2's and common board. This is it right here. 
um, I'm gonna either get a saw and cut them myself because I'm gonna have too many pieces to keep bringing back to Home Depot. Safe and secure with my glove on. If you can see, I still need to edge around the top. I'm gonna go to Sherwin Williams tomorrow to get my edger. Um, I didn't have that, but um, you can see the difference. It looks really good. It looks a lot more open. I don't know, I guess it's because of the sun. Like it's really bright in here right now, but there we go, there we go. So it looks so good. I love how it goes a lot better with like the rug and everything. And that tan was just making it look dated. Of course, you guys know we still have to replace the chandelier. Um, but I'm so glad I got it painted first. So once I put all my stuff back in here, go over the edge and do replace that light fixture. Oh, it's gonna be popping. It's gonna be so nice. But yeah, it looks so much better. You can see how it just flows with my entryway, which is a deeper gray color. That's Revere Pewter in the entryway right now. Don't even ask me why the Christmas tree box is right there. I got a story for that. But um, yeah, it just flows a lot better now. We ordered some carry out from the Juicy Crab, of course, because you can't eat in. So I'm gonna go in here and pick it up. So we were tired of cooking. Good old shrimp, sausage, corn, and they still give you that one little bitty potato. I'm sitting outside of Sherwin Williams because you can't go inside. So you have to call the store number and place your order. I didn't know that. So I pulled up and I called on the inside and he took my order and Pay for everything over the phone and so he's gonna have to bring it out to me this is so weird I, I i walked up to the door and i just couldn't get in i'm like hold up they got all these typing papers typed all over the door this whole process this whole situation is just different so he just brought my bag to the car because i needed some edgers for um i guess i should have probably got four but <sighs> anyway yeah okay so I guess I don't know that's the part that scares me it's like I don't know when these stores are gonna like just close close and you won't be able to do anything you know like not even pull up and, and get your supplies but I know a lot of places can't afford to close like that you know so instead of closing like this is the best option to just have people to call in and stuff so 
it's back to the house for me i only came out to get some edgers and to go to the kroger i went to kroger um it's not even it's right at 10 so i was trying to beat the crowds and stuff all the people but it's a sunday anyway so it's not a whole lot of people out but i think i'm gonna make a list of like everything um that i need to get my projects done so that you know i don't have to worry about them possibly closing the stores and me not being able to like get what i need especially you know being at the house for me it's like okay well, if i'm at the house i might as well work on something <sighs> i pretty much have all my etsy orders out because you know i haven't been getting a lot of those because graduations are being canceled so all of my graduation boxes and stuff that i usually get those aren't coming in like they they usually would it would be like march would be so rapid with orders and i may have gotten one a week so you know everybody is affected so i'll share the finished look of this room and how i'm basically gonna decorate it for spring and summer in my spring videos in the meantime i hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourselves and quarantining so that we can get through this pandemic and have a sense of normalcy soon hopefully but um i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching love you guys bye daisies